Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Provincial police say one person has died after a vehicle collision near Brantford. The OPP say police, fire and paramedics responded to the collision in the county of Brant on Cockshut Road near Birch Road and Indian Line yesterday morning. They determined a vehicle had left the road and hit a hydro pole. 19 year old Quinn Hayner of Ancaster was pronounced dead at the scene. A revered spiritual leader was laid to rest today. Dozens attended the funeral service for Rabbi Bernard Baskin in Hamilton, who passed away at 102 years old last Wednesday. Jason Adola has the story. 74 years as spiritual leader of this community. Can you imagine? 74 years. That, that has to be unprecedented. Inside the temple in his name, family and followers bid farewell to Rabbi Bernard Baskin today. Depth and quality is how Bernard Baskin lived his life. Less than two months away from his 103rd birthday, Baskin passed away in his Toronto home last Wednesday, survived by his three children and 11 grandchildren and great-grandchildren. This morning, among the prayer and song, were eulogies about Baskin's personality and teachings. People who didn't know him said, who is that guy? He's amazing. At age 100, Rabbi Baskin was still teaching, still having an impact. Incredible. Dad loved family occasions, and he never missed an opportunity to deliver an impromptu address to those lucky enough to be present. American born and son of an Orthodox rabbi, Baskin followed his father's footsteps and moved to Hamilton with his wife Marjorie in 1949, becoming the leader of the Anshe Shalom Temple and trailblazing its current location in Westdale. My parents passed away, he buried our parents. So he's, he was here for our bar mitzvahs, he was here for everything. So this is like the end of an era. Uh, he married again? Yeah, yes, 57, 57 years, years, years we ago. We were together to get married in another synagogue and we are having some family issues and we decided to bite the bullet, so to speak, and came over here. I was a member of the synagogue at that time. Those close to him also remember a man of religious continuity and forging interfaith relationships. He brought such wisdom and love and um, he, he just, he, he raised people up uh, no matter where he was and in what setting. I gave up Catholic Mass this morning to come to the service, but I was totally enriched by it. The civil rights movement, the rise of feminism, the fight for acceptance of what we now describe as the LGBTQ community, all these came to the forefront during his time on the pulpit. Dad did not duck these issues, instead he embraced them. Following the service, Rabbi Baskin's casket was taken to Anshe Shalom Cemetery, where loved ones paid their final respects. He will be sorely missed, and yet, in this community, his presence will still be felt for generations to come. Jason Guidola, CHCH News, Westdale.